The Gospel of John. This book is a very special book. It can make you start believing in God again, or strengthen your faith that you already had. In this book you will learn about the life of Jesus Christ, and about Him being the one and only God, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The information you will get from this book can make you become reborn. You will become a different person. You will read for yourself how great Jesus was on earth and how he managed to save tons of people by just believing in him. John 3.16 Jesus also explains how you should believe in him. So if you want to make your faith stronger and stronger, you need to read the book of John. Author According to tradition, St. John the Apostle, also called the theologian because of the depth and wisdom of his gospel, was assisted by St. Prochorus in writing this gospel. Prochorus was one of the seven deacons chosen to care for the poor of the Christian community in Jerusalem. Acts 6.5 John, the beloved disciple of Christ, served as the leading authority of Ephesus for most of his ministry and wrote his gospel there. Ephesus was an old city, nowadays in Turkey. The letter from Paul to the Ephesians was to the people of this city. For the people of the city were called Ephesians. He was almost 100 years old when he died, around 96 to 100 AD. Date. This gospel written about 96 AD is usually considered the last of the four gospels to be written supplementing and adding on to the other three. Major theme. The eternal Son of God has come in the flesh. The gospel was written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ. Christ means Messiah. The Son of God. And that believing you may have life in his name. The gospel of John has many theological themes. They include the following. Number one, the Trinity. In his gospel, John is quite clear about the persons of the Trinity and their relationships. They are the three persons in one nature. The Father is the unbegotten, the Son is the only begotten, and the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. 2. Glory. The glory of God is mainly showed in Christ's earthly ministry, his person, words, and works, but is also experienced by the Church in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Helper or Paraclete. 3. The spiritual dimension. The supernatural, theological perspective dominates this gospel. The revelation of divine life and light is resisted by the people of this age, resulting in a great spiritual war, the kingdom of God versus the world, as a fallen being in rebellion against God. 4. The sacramental dimension. John stresses the mysterious and sacramental presence and activity of God in this world linking the saving word of Christ to baptism and the Eucharist. 5. The Church The Gospel of John testifies a strong sense of community among the disciples. He shows it through the plural we. True disciples are those who believe in Jesus as the incarnate Son of the Father, who are united with Him, and who here and now expresses the life of divine love given by Christ. 6. The Pachal or Eastern theme. Three Passovers are specifically mentioned in John. Therefore, the tradition that the public ministry of Jesus encompassed a three-year-old period. During the final Passover, Jesus, the Lamb of God, leads his followers to a new Passover through his death and resurrection. Number seven, the redemption of the world. In John's perspective, the divine word, the Son of God, came into the world to save the world and through the life of the church to offer the whole world up to God. Christ and his church begin this transformation now. The outline of the book. The witness, John the Baptist, from chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 1, verse 51. Introduction, from chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 1, verse 18. The mission of John the Baptist, chapter 1, from verse 19 to verse 51. The word incarnate, in other words, Jesus changes creation. Chapter 2, verse 1 to verse 25. Baptism revealed. Chapter 3, verse 1 to chapter 5, verse 47. The Eucharist revealed. 
feeding of the 5,000. Chapter 6, verse 1 to verse 71. The old creation transformed from chapter 1, verse 1 to chapter 10, verse 42. The word incarnate, in other words, Jesus Christ, changes all humanity. From chapter 11, verse 1 to chapter 14, verse 26. True death and resurrection of Lazarus. From chapter 11, verse 1 to chapter 12, verse 11. True ascension into the kingdom, Palm Sunday. From chapter 12, verse 12 to chapter 12, verse 50. True the messianic banquet of the kingdom. Chapter 13, verse 1 to chapter 17, verse 26. The Paschal slash Eastern offering, death and resurrection. From chapter 18, verse 1 to chapter 21, verse 25. Death, Passion of the Christ. Chapter 18, verse 1 to chapter 19, verse 42. Resurrection of Christ. Chapter 20, verse 1 to chapter 21, verse 25. Then some may ask, how can the book of John help me, or what can I learn from it? The book of John can help you in many ways. It can help you learn about the life of Jesus Christ. You can read what miracles he performed, what lessons he taught. This can help you with growing your faith, because you will read for yourself once again how great Jesus was, how he made people follow him, and he wants you to follow him too. If you're new to the faith, new to reading the Bible, or if you just want to grow your faith, read the book of John. You will learn how Jesus was and what Jesus was. Because Apostle John, the writer of this book, knew Jesus personally and he knew that he was God. And he has written this in his book. You need to know Jesus and be like him, like doing the things that he did and behaving yourself like he did. And how can you do this if you haven't read about his life and his teachings? You will become born again with the information that you receive from this book.